Now you've lived in the UK for like one year, right? So imagine you've lived in the UK for 39 more years. Or if you've lived in the UK for five years, imagine having lived here for 35 more years. That's over 40 years. You've got around three kids, several grandchildren. You even have a, like a restaurant or like a fast food business. Life is going on well. You see yourself as a model citizen. You pay your taxes, you pay your NI, you do the right thing, no criminal offenses. And then one day out of nowhere, you receive a letter from the UK Home Office saying that you are an illegal immigrant based on blah, 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 and you have to leave or deport you. And that's now you can no longer enjoy the NHS for free. In fact, so many things. What would you do? It sounds like it can never happen, but it did happen. It has happened. And if you want to know the details, stay tuned. <laughs> My name is Anna Grisolda. On this channel, I talk about nesting, migration, opportunities for people to relocate abroad, and life in the UK as an immigrant in general. So if these are topics that interest you, please do consider subscribing. So this is beautiful um, grandmother, Leonarda Zacone. She's about 74 years. She was born in Italy, and then she moved to the UK as a child. She lived here for a while, then she moved over to France. Okay, so over there, she got her French citizenship, and then she and her husband, you know, decided to move to the UK sometime back in 1981. One. When they came, they had three children. They bought a traditional fish and ship business. You know, now they have several grandchildren. Life is okay, right? But they because they hold a French citizenship, they've always been EU nationals, okay? So after UK left the EU, that is Brexit, she and her family applied for settled status, okay? So for those who don't know, the UK left the EU, that what we call Brexit. I mean, you can read about it later. But what happened was that all those that had EU citizenship, you know, for them to keep staying in the UK, they had to apply for settled status right so she and her family because they fell into that category they decided to apply right initially before brexit they could live here work here without any issues because you know it was all one happy family you know before brexit but after brexit if you are not a british national or a citizen you would have to apply so her family got a response from the home office they were all given settled status obviously because they qualified like they've lived here almost all their life right so they were granted and they were living here however she did not necessarily really get a response and that's where the issue was okay and this is a big lesson that we are all gonna learn from apparently the home office did send her an email but like many other emails from the home office, it's landed in her junk or her spam folder. If I tell you the number of people that have received emails from the home office that ended up in their junk or their spam folder, you'd be amazed. I don't know why it goes there often. Remember, I just recently had my indefinite literary make my permanent residency, right? So, you know, when I was making the application, I contacted a few other people that had recently gone through the process. I was asking them, how long did your stay? How long did your stay? What was the application like? Blah, blah, blah. And a couple of them told me that apparently the home office sent them an email for to request for more documents, but it apparently went into their spam or their junk folder. So it delayed their response. So let's say they paid for priority, but then because the email went into their junk, they did not see it on time. So, so for one lady who's also a YouTuber, she actually phoned the home office saying that I've not heard from you, blah, blah, blah. And then somebody asked her to check his spam and then she realized it was in her junk folder you know so i don't know for most home office emails if you don't take care i don't know why it ends up in your spam or in your junk so that's what happened to grandma as well and this somebody who's lived here for over 40 years without any issues right she has her eu citizenship she's been living here i mean i mean before brexit this was normal very normal and all her family did who applied also did get the response and they had settled status so like she thought well maybe yeah whatever you know not knowing it wasn't her email imagine grandma having to check emails every day even me <laughs> emails and responding to emails is such a struggle for me imagine this poor grandmother so just last month she received a letter from the uk home office saying that she's facing deportation she's now an illegal immigrant blah 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 this is weird she's lived here 42 years illegally and suddenly she's become illegal i mean how and then she said that this is these are her words she said i have paid national insurance taxes i have lived an honest life my family have made their lives here and my youngest daughter was born in the UK. We even support Leicester City football team. This is our home. So apparently the email that the uh, home office sent her was that she should prove that she has lived here for five more years. She sent documents that she has lived here for five more years. And that is what went into her spam that she did not see. And this is something that surprises me i mean like the home office i know very well that you know they have a lot of technology you know 
and they can easily check when this woman came they can easily check how long she's lived here they can easily check i mean she has a business she's been paying ni like they can easily check like they can easily check and find out that she's been living here for over 40 years but why then that when they did not get the response they did not even write a letter to ask that they've not heard from her but they wrote a letter to say that she's now an illegal immigrant she's facing deportation honestly this was really sad so this video is probably sponsored by transfer girl anytime i come here it's because you know i'm getting some sort of sponsorship from some of these companies that keep me going and one of them is transfer girl as you can see i'm repping transfer girl today transfer girl if you're wondering what they are if you're a stranger on this channel it's an international money transfer app that allows you to send money from the uk and other eu countries to over 34 different african countries did you hear me to over 34 different African countries not lots of apps beat this you can send money to Ghana Nigeria and many 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 other African countries if you haven't tried it I don't know what you're waiting for with transfer go in at most 30 minutes a person is going to get the money and your person gets the exact amount that you're sending and as you send the money you can actually track the transfer to see whether the person has gotten it where it is in the you know the whole transfer process it's very very easy hassle free very very convenient and what I love about them is their customer support if you should have a problem and then you contact them they are very prompt they are very quick to respond to your query and attend to you and sort everything out for you they are authorized by the uk financial conduct authority transfer go is currently being used by over 5 million users worldwide and when you check transpilot.com they are rated the best money transfer app yes the best one chance up on transpilot.com and guess what transfer go is giving you 70 euro if you invite two friends to join transfer go oh yes 70 euro for each two friends you invite this promotion starts on the 4th of december 2023 and ends on 2nd of january 2024 the first friend you invite you get 20 euro and then the second friend you invite to transfer go you get 50 euro so for every pair you make 70 euro from transfer go i mean come on this is the best christmas present you can ever get from anywhere remember it starts on the 4th of december 2023 and ends on the 2nd of january 2024 invite two friends and earn 70 pounds thank you so much transfer go for this amazing offer and thank you so much transfer go for sponsoring today's video what happened was they apparently traveled to france for a family a family member's wedding right and when they were coming back into the uk then she was told that she's an illegal immigrant so she cannot enter so like what like what happened so they apparently gave her a 28 day visitor visa stamp in her passport somebody who has a business here has lived here for 40 years they now gave her a visit visa at the airport to be able to enter i, I mean she's an eu citizen so she could still be granted um a visa at the airport right and then she came here and now she's an illegal immigrant she got a letter from the home office threatening her that she can if she uses the nhs now she has to pay that blah 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 then she decided to make another application you know to apply for settled status right because unknown to her this thing was in her spam right she did not know that they had requested for further, further documents when they applied as a family let's say i think 2020 they're about and she says apply again and the application was refused because there was a deadline for all EU applicants, all EU citizens to apply for sexual status, that has passed. So now, because that has passed, she was denied. And she was just living in fear of being deported. Look, you have grandchildren here, like you've lived here for 40. That's even more than half of her life, right? And now you have to go. She says she has nowhere to go. And this Italian woman, like they said, she's receiving state pension. So she's in the system. She's been receiving pension for over seven years. So how come she's not lived here for five years? And it's something that the home office could have easily cross-checked, you know, and, you know, just pardon the poor old lady. And one thing that the son said, he said, my mom's records prove that she's been living here for decades. She's receiving a state pension. So she's paid into the system. She's paid her taxes. She's paying her council tax. There's lots of proof. This story got attention of the media, you know, lots of um, media platforms and newspapers, um, other people, you know, published it. And, you know, everybody was saying the same thing, like, why would the home office do that to this poor old lady and guess what happened just three days ago there was an update on the situation right and after his second application was rejected now they said grandmother threatened with deportation after 42 years can now stay a big applause for the bbc so what happened was the bbc after hearing this story contacted the home office on wednesday so when the bbc contacted the home office on wednesday 
the lady received an email on friday saying that she now has residency and she now she can now stay in the uk and this is after her second application was rejected so kudos to bbc but this is a quick lesson these are two lessons or let me say three lessons that we can learn from this particular story one is that and um, randomly check your spam folder or your junk randomly check it you know as you have a phone um since you're in the uk most organizations and most companies they'll communicate with you through email do check your junk once in a while do check your spam once in a while and don't just delete messages some people immediately they receive an email they delete it what i do and especially for the very important ones always flag them so you can easily go back to them for if you need to clarify something or you need to go back to read it just flag them so that will be easy because let's say you got an email from the home office three years ago and let's say now something happens and you need to prove that you guys sent me a message saying this 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 right now you have to scroll back to all your messages for three years ago but what i do is that very important messages from let's say the uk home office and whatever my employer that it's those very very sensitive impo extremely important HM rc once you know i always flag them i flag them so that will be easy for me to go back to so guys please always check your spam folder or your junk okay and another thing that i'll say is another very very important is that if you're on any form of visa in the uk right um know that um anything can happen okay i'm not trying to put anything can happen that people that have lived here for 40 years and have they have been deported people that have lived here all their lives and have been deported people that have lived here all their lives and have been ruled to be illegal immigrants i mean because of one document or the other that you cannot find so anything happening so guys even if we make this place so far as you're in a form of visa see do not forget your home okay anything can happen i mean look at what happened in ukraine and all the foreigners that were there for years now they were not they were trying to seek you know asylum and they were being asked to go back to their country let's say from nigeria go back to nigeria and imagine if some such a person had just neglected the whole family for after being in ukraine for years now they don't have anything back home anything can happen at any time so do not forget where you are really from okay for us we are lucky we have two homes okay should anything happen here we have a home another home to go back to do not do not forget your main home as well do not forget okay and check your spam what is your take on this what do you think was this fair was this fair a poor lady i don't think she's technology inclined you know to be checking her emails and her spam and doing tiktok and all those things but for us we might not have any excuse and i've also shared a story here on the channel before where a nurse received a letter she did not open it or something and then now it became a criminal offense because she was supposed to pay a penalty according to the letter and she did not pay so the deadline came blah 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 it looked like she had disregarded the, the letter or whatever so when you receive something from the post office please check uh, whenever you are moving houses i would say that uh, there's a way that you can direct redirect your mail from your old place to your new house okay or to your new accommodation or your new residence let's say for six months for one year so that you do not miss any of such important um information okay if you go to royal mail you can do redirect for six months redirect for one year yeah let's say you forget to update hmrc on your new residence or your new address if you do the redirect those government organizations they send their mails through royal mail so royal mail will see it and then they'll bring it to your new residence instead of it going to your old residence i cannot count the number where we used to live i cannot count the number of letters i received for the person who used to live there as at my fourth year in the house i was still receiving letters i was receiving flowers i was receiving so many things people thinking this lady still lives there i even know her name and her family members name because i was still receiving letters from all of them sometimes i'll return it to the post office sometimes i'll just not send it and imagine for something very important okay so please guys um update all your addresses at wherever okay and check your spam folder just in case just in case you might never know and never forget where you came from anything at all can happen at any time thank you